right, right. Okay. No, I will. Okay. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, I'll call you tomorrow. Bye. Mommy. Mommy. Mommy! Lana, what happened? Okay, she had an accident. She hit her head. How? On the kitchen cabinet, I think. I took her to the emergency room and they said she was okay. But she was talking funny. So they Look, brought her up here. Look, you gotta get me. Back She's talking here. about Jeff, her boyfriend, when she was 16. And the yearbook and pictures for the yearbook. Oh, this is ridiculous. I guess you wouldn't because you keep telling me I'm married. I mean, that is crazy. That is so crazy. My mother would kill me if I even kissed Jeff. How old are you, Megan? 16. I live at 12 Oak Street. I go to Jefferson High School. I made four A's and two B's last semester. My parents are Democrats and voted for LBJ. Her color's off. I mean, she doesn't look right. Oh, my head, my head. Do you think you could get me a couple of aspirins? I'm not sure that aspirin would be very good for you. <laughs> You're not sure of anything, Doc. You're really not. I'm getting out of here. Look, I'm not get sure. Get your hands off of me, okay? Somebody needs to look at her. This kind of behavior. Get, this get kind your of hands behavior. off of me, okay? David, I'm going to call Harry. Don't you understand? I don't want you to touch me. Hey, 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 hey. Come on. Who are you? I'm going to take you out of here. I'm a nice man. You know, I feel so dizzy. Okay. I don't feel good. Okay, I am. I don't Come feel on. good. Come on. I need a doctor. I need a doctor now. Yeah. Yeah, Let's just out. sit down. Where we are. Going? Oh, we're out of here. We are, we are. Ow, my head. Oh, doctor? Yeah. Ooh. Did she fall? Or she bumped her head. Ow. She's uh, she's a little Burst. disoriented. All right. Don't. Look at me. Nurse, I need a CT stat. Get her down there right away. I have to take the photographs for you the will. yearbook. You will. You will. Jeff's camera. Don't worry, I'll get Jeff's camera. Listen, there might be some liquid pressing on her brain that can cause the confusion. So we're going to do a CAT scan first. CAT scan? Then what? Well, then we'll see. She's gone. Where's my wife? She's gone! Just calm down. We'll find her. What kind of hospital is this? Sit down. Just sit down. Name of the missing person? Her name is Megan Potter. M-E-G-A-N. 
tree, long dark hair. Call for you, Mr. Potter. Hello? Don't worry, she's here. She's in the kitchen, looking for something to eat. As easy as you please. Where's she going? I had the weirdest dream. I was at this house. I don't know whose house it was. I guess it was babysitting or something. And Mom took me to the strange doctor. But it wasn't Mom. I mean, she looked old. Have you seen Jeff's camera? I need it for... Happened to your hair? Nope. Who's this? Where's mom? You know where your mother is. She's at your house. This is my house. Wait a minute. What's going on? Megan, you're just a little confused. I get it. Mom's gone out. While the cat's away. You said you'd stop, Daddy. Megan, you don't understand. I understand perfectly well. You promised you'd change. You can do better, believe me. Oh. Oh, no. I can't show up at school without Jeff's camera. Make it stop. We have to talk. Have you seen it? Honey, you won't find it. Well, Mrs. Cola pluck me if I don't. Megan, David's here. David who? Wait a minute. You were in my dream at the hospital. It wasn't a dream, Maggie. Nobody calls me Maggie. I hate it. Daddy, how can you let this man talk to me like this? Honey, they gave you something at the hospital. Is this some friend of yours or something? Where's mom? Megan, please. Look at yourself in the mirror. I don't understand. Look at my face. How can I go to school looking like this? You don't go to school anymore. We've been married for 20 years. Oh. No. No. Phyllis! Megan, 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 listen. No! Let me go, Daddy! I have a daughter, Lacey. Daddy. Look at, please, look. Look at the wedding ring. Get away! Look at our, look at, look at, look at your wedding ring. Look at. Where's Mom? Why is she here? Your mother lives at your house with you and David and Lacey, and Phyllis lives here with me. Megan, they're married. Your mom and pa are divorced, remember? No. Honey, they're married. No. They're married. No. What's happening to me? I don't know what to do. Look, I, I don't want to give you any false hope. This type of amnesia that's brought on by a blow is tricky, and the first two weeks are critical. But there's still a chance she might remember everything. Yeah, but I mean, she'll remember everything later, right? She might remember 5% or 50%. There's really no way to tell. Don't try to force anything, all right? If she needs help, we'll arrange for some psychiatric outpatient visits. This is a serious injury, and it's going to take some time to heal. The truth is, she might never really be the same, even if she does remember things. Come on, Doc. Tell me I have a 16-year-old daughter and a 16-year-old wife.
rough day, too. Don't even ask. Hey, can I have a drag? Oh, yeah, sure. Thanks. Great. My mom won't let me smoke. She's such a geek. They all are. Who's they? Oh, those people downstairs. The shrink, that man, my mom. Shrink? Why did you have to talk to a shrink? They think I'm crazy. Are you? I don't know. Why'd you leave? You had me worried. I don't want you to watch me. You don't have to hover. I'm not 16, remember? I'm just trying to help. I don't need all this help. I just can't remember anything. I... What's the big deal? I'm fine. I'm, I'm fine, okay? Please, come here. Come here. Don't do that again. You scared me. And don't treat me like I'm some kind of delinquent. This is your mom. Hi, honey. Why are you looking at me so hard? You've changed. Look older. Well, we all get older. And this is Lacey, your daughter. Lacey. What a what a surprise to find out I have a little girl. I'm sixteen. Beautiful young lady you are. Oh. Brought you chocolate ice cream. It's your favorite. It is. Thanks. Bye. I like your jacket. You brought these albums. I hope it might help you remember. And these are your favorite flowers. Over here is your, your manuscript you've been working on. I'm a writer. Published. Visiting hours are over, folks. doesn't remember me. Honey, it's just temporary. She doesn't remember any of us. What are we supposed to do? I mean, I, I don't know what to say to her. She looks to me like she's never met me before. In a way, she hasn't, but it's only going to be for a couple of weeks. She's going to be fine, Lacey. You just talk to her, okay? You talk to her like you always have. She needs you now, even though she can't tell you. She needs you a lot. 
think? Yeah. How about a piece of lemon meringue pie? Uh, no, thank you, Nana. What do you mean, no, thank you? It's not even burned on top like it usually is. <laughs> all right, all right. Get about the cholesterol. Bring on the heart attack. Don't you think so? Yeah, I hope you have some whipped cream for that. Dad, do I have to go in? It'll be fine. She's waiting for us. Hi, honey. This is the most boring stuff I've ever read, assuming I could read. People pay you good money for your how-to books. Well, I... I don't know what's more depressing, how to write it or read it. Have you read them? Yes. Oh, don't you think they're boring? Well, it's not supposed to be fun. They're just... You know, supposed to be informational. Dad, they're boring. Finally. Someone's not afraid to be honest. Well, actually, they are a little, uh... A little dry. <laughs> so why do I write them? Because you're good at it, you know. Some people need to know about these things. But I... I didn't even write in high school. I liked art. I wanted to go to art school. Honey, are you thirsty? Would anybody like a Coke? Wait, didn't I, didn't I like art? You didn't go to college. But I spent all summer researching schools. Why didn't I go? You and Daddy eloped instead. You could have gone. I mean, you got an art scholarship, but... You mean I got an art scholarship and I didn't go? It was a scholarship in Paris, and you were 17 and innocent. I just couldn't let you go all that way alone. So you made me stay here? Well, I couldn't make you do anything. You met David and you ran away and got married. You were so mad at me. Was that the reason you guys got married? Was I just a mistake? No, honey, no. No, 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 that's not how it was. That... I don't think you could have ever been a mistake. Well, what did you want to do? Race cars. Did you get to do that? Did you get to do what you wanted to do? No. Doesn't that bother you? Oh. Well, I'm, I'm so tired. And I, I don't want to go back to my room. Honey, honey, you forgot your ring. <laughs> you keep an eye on it. Why won't you wear your wedding ring? Because I don't feel married. That's pretty obvious, isn't it? You're just being glib. You just try to avoid addressing the issue. The only thing I'm going to avoid for the rest of my life is you. Beautiful, Norma. I'm so proud of you. It's absolutely beautiful. Norma, you're creating so many colors, it's hard to even see. I'm so proud of you. It's absolutely beautiful. It shrinks! Shrinks! Hi. Hey, hang on one sec. Goodbye, Norma. We'll see you on Thursday, 10 o'clock. She can't talk. If she could talk, it would be incredible because her entire story is in that picture. You're a doctor. I'm a shrink, yes. I'm one of the hapless head doctors of this fine institution. Now, you said shrinks before. Did one of my colleagues get you all fired up here? Well, he keeps asking me how I feel. 
feel, mm. okay? Angry. That's how I feel. I mean, I don't even know who I grew up to be. I don't remember anything. I don't know how to be a wife, a mother. I don't know. I just don't remember anything, period. All you have to do is follow your instincts. There, there. And what if my instincts tell me to do something else? Well, they work pretty good so far. That's all you have, right? We can only be who we are. I mean, we don't want to waste all this time trying to be somebody that we're not. How could she do it? How could she take that scholarship away from me? How could she be so selfish? And him, he let her. Him who's? Ah, that guy I'm supposed to be married to. Oh, on the roof, the day we had our cigarette. See, I, I think you're looking at the past through a present perspective, okay? And I'm sure it must seem very easy to think that it's very clear-cut, but it's not. The past is the past. And things happened in the past that were supposed to happen in the past. And they made a lot of sense back then when they happened. Boy, you're defending my mother. No, I'm not. I'm just trying to look at it from all sides. And yours never ticked you off? My mother has nothing to do with this. Freud would disagree with you. Let's just say that our... Well, we did have our disagreements. Yeah. I don't mind. Can we talk again? Yeah, so I think we can probably work that out. Great. Dr. Gare to maternity. Dr. Gare to maternity. Good news. The doctor says you could leave. Says you check out physically. I do? Yeah. Mm, that's good. She's going to get some outpatient therapy. Well, that's great, because I finally met a psychiatrist I like. Good. Good. Who? The guy on the roof. That guy? Uh -huh. He's a doctor? Yeah. How do you feel? Fine. Oh, hi. I caught you before you uh, before you left. Uh, I'm Dr. Bethan. David Potter. Hi, David. Nice to meet you. Um, I'll be taking over your wife's uh, outpatient treatments. Uh, my number's on here, and everything's right here on the campus. Uh, so just call. I think Thursday. You should start Thursday. Okay. Okay, good. Sounds great. Bye-bye. Let's go home. name. Oh. Well, come on. Let's show you around. You'll feel you're at home in no time. This is your office. This is, this is where you did all your writing. Mm, yeah, my memorable books. Come on, honey. I, wa I want to show you the kitchen. That's where you had your accident and hit your head. It's that kitchen cabinet way over there. That far one. It's where you hit your head. Come on. I want to show you the art projects that we did together. They're upstairs. Would you like some tea? Do I like tea? You always drink it. Okay. Tea. Be fine. Come on. It's up this way. We just have to give her time. Yeah. I, uh, I put fresh sheets on the bed. Here's your nighty. Um, the top drawer that has your socks, underwear, and um, the closet here, there's plenty of blankets. You always like an extra blanket. Maybe I'll go watch TV. I'm not ready to go to bed yet. I'm sorry, honey. I, um, I didn't think. I, I, I wasn't thinking. You take the bed, I'll take the couch. No, no, it's your house. No, honey, it's our house.
Willis said you came by to visit. Oh, yeah, I just wanted to look through some of this stuff. You need any help? No, thanks, Daddy. I know everyone's telling me the stories, but I want to see for myself. Mm, look at these little baby socks. DP. David Potter? Were they his? Oh, uh, yeah, sure. David. Why would I have David's baby booties? What are they doing here? Uh, when you moved the first time, you put a lot of things in there. I see. Well, I just want to look through. Well, I'll just leave you to yourself. When you're through, why don't you come upstairs and have a cup of coffee with Phyllis and I before you go home? Thanks. You've got some talent. Mm. So why are you here? Mm. We're here to talk about you. Art is very important to you. Maybe you should audit a class. Um, they seem to frown on art therapy here, but I personally think it's a wonderful way to uncover your subconscious. Isn't it to you? What? Important. Art? Very. Well, obviously not enough or you'd be doing it. I still paint. But you wanted to be somewhere else. Yes, I used to think I did. And you? Yeah, I woke up this morning in the strange house, and I kept wondering every time I would pass a window and see my reflection. Who's that lady looking back at me? I don't fit there. I feel guilty because I can't remember any of them. I feel stupid because I don't know where the glasses are, and I don't know what to say to any of them. I don't even remember getting married, much less having a baby. There's this stranger standing there wanting me to love him, and I don't even remember him. There's a 16-year-old girl who expects me to tell her about boys, and I don't even know if I remember how to drive. I don't know if I have a sense of humor. Yes, you do. I can vouch for you there. You do have a sense of humor. Um, we don't want to get too pressured, okay? Um, don't get too panicked. If you can't remember, just ask. Why 16? Doesn't make any sense. Why? I mean, that was before my whole life happened. Why did I pick 16? Maybe that's why, Megan. I think a lot of people... Um, Given the opportunity, would love to start again with a clean slate, yes? I don't want to go back there. Home? It isn't home. Home, at, at least the one I remember, is Daddy's house. You feel more comfortable there? I don't know. I don't know. I just know Daddy's house. Would you rather be there? Yeah. Then tell your husband that, okay? You'll never get anywhere without being honest with them, and especially with yourself. Whether you're in the past or the present, you can't go back until you go forward. And who knows? I mean, being surrounded by uh, familiar things just might... Hmm? It's worth a shot. Okay. Thank you. Interesting. What's that? There's no people in your paintings. And your shrink? 
Very interesting. Go on, get <laughs> out of here. We'll see you tomorrow. I have to sell the plane. Ah, oh, Jerry. She's got medical bills. Lacey's gonna go to college someday. We're working 12 hours a day and we're, we're making less money than the guy who picks up our garbage. Hey, you check your blood sugar lately? No, I mean it. I mean, did you ever want to do anything else? I mean, is this, is this all you ever wanted to do? No. I wanted to be a ballerina, but I was too fragile. And I grew up. I just... I just don't know how to think about things without Maggie in the picture. Yeah, I fixed this up for our anniversary. I was gonna surprise her. Take a trip. Trying to recreate your famous elopement across the border, huh? Some surprise, huh? session go well? Yes. I appreciate you wanting to help me, but uh, in my session today, we talked about how it would be better for me to stay at Daddy's. What? Honey, honey, listen, listen. We could take care of you here just fine. Why do you want to go over there? You always had such friction. Are you unhappy here? Because you can always talk to me. Honey, you can talk to me. I just think it'd be better for me to go to Daddy's. Uh, I'll have to figure everything out. And being around familiar things might help me. Well, listen, you, you, you got familiar things around here. I mean, how are we going to work this through if we aren't together? I know, listen, I know, I know you don't know me. But we could get to know each other better. I just think it's a better idea for me to go to Daddy's doctor thinks that too. Well, I know you better than your doctor. I don't even know myself. I don't even know myself. Well, listen, listen. I, I just, I just think you should take your time and think it over. Look, I know it's hard on you, but I'm not Lacey's mother and I'm not your wife. I don't even know who I am. I don't know anything. Going through the motions in this strange house, I... I just can't do it. I can't do it to myself, or to you. Do you understand that? No. It's Daddy.
No, you can't afford. You can't stick me with that. I can't. I have looked at the policy. Look, look, like I told the other six people you made me repeat this to, all the tests they ran on my wife were necessary. No, don't put me on hold again. No. I know this may not be the right time, but someone's made an offer on the plane. Somebody wants to buy it. What do you want to do? Just give me a break, huh? Got my hands full of these insurance vultures. My wife's moving out. Just back off for now. Just let her go. You should have tried something. You should have stopped her. Honey, I tried to make it work. You know, but she needs to be around things that make sense to her. Right. Like anything makes sense anymore? I have to go. Troy's waiting. Troy! Lacey! Lacey! Who's Troy? You know, he's the freshman from college. The one with the scissors in his ear. Oh. Should come in handy when he needs to break out of jail. Thank you, ma'am, for your much needed support. You're welcome. It's late. Why don't you stop working on this old thing and get some sleep? Is Lacey home yet? She's doing her homework. You know, I was thinking about the day that you and Megan met, when you wouldn't let her leave that garage until she kissed you. She came home and told me she just met the biggest jerk in town, and she never wanted to talk to you again. I always thought you liked that kiss. Oh, well. Men are usually misinformed that way. Yeah, I was sure that's really why she finally agreed to go out with me. No, she finally agreed to go out with you because no one else came around. Oh, that's because they all realized they were all outclassed. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. You know, she threw everything away to run across that border and marry you. I'd never seen Harry cry until that night. I loved her, Nana. When you came back, I was so angry and so furious that you had stolen her away from us. But she told me how gentle you had been with her. How you had courted her for two weeks living in the same house. I took away her painting. And you were there when it all fell apart. She was disappointed in me. You gave her love. You always made her happy. So I think you should go over there and bring her back. Anna, come on. She's the one that left. She's the one that needs her own space. And since when have you ever been somebody who followed other people's rules? crazy playing that over and over again in high school. Don't let it bother you, Harry. 
can't hear myself think. That's it. Harry. Megan. Daddy. It's too loud. Sorry. Gets me in the mood. What is all this junk? Phyllis likes to keep it neat out here. She sent you out here, didn't she? No, she didn't. And she's my wife, Megan. Whether you like it or not. I wish you could have been this good to Mom. Megan, things don't always work out the way you want. I know, Daddy. You know what? Maybe it'd be better if I stay at Mom's. This works for you, Megan. Okay. Thanks, Daddy. didn't have anywhere to go. You want to talk about it? Yeah, I'd like to. That'd be nice. Okay, okay, come on. At Daddy's, he treats me like I'm 60. My music bothers him. It, it's really all the old wars. So then you asked him to take you back to David's. Yeah, and I knew before I walked up that sidewalk that I couldn't go in there either. I'm not her. Not him. I'm not, I'm not uh, the mother that Lacey's looking for, and I'm not the wife that David misses, and I'm not mommy and daddy's middle-aged little girl. And every single time they look at me, every glance reminds me that they're disappointed that I'm not. Well, Megan, we, uh, we can't have you sleeping out on the sidewalk here in the <laughs> campus because you know the faculty, the rumors will start, they're going to run amok. Okay. No, but I don't have anywhere else to go. I have a friend, okay, and uh, she owns an apartment building. Maybe, maybe we could set something up. That sounds perfect. See? You can't go back until you go forward. You were actually listening to me. <laughs> you know, you'd make a great talk show host. Come on, I've got rounds. Okay. Duff? <laughs> um, well, it's, uh, it's, it's fabulous. You have a terrific eye. You've been watching? Yes, I have. Mm. Mm. I have the uh, gal's name and the uh, number for the apartment. It looks like it's all going to work out, okay? Thank you. You're welcome. Appreciate it. No problem. Have you figured out what it is yet? It doesn't have to be anything. It's free form. And who knows when anything can turn into something.
supposed to be a doctor. I mean, how could you tell her to move out on her own? She's not ready. She's sick. I did not tell her to move out on her own, David. She decided that she needed to be someplace that was neither familiar or unfamiliar, but new. It doesn't make sense. I know this must be very hard for you, okay? But you have to understand that you have a tremendous, tremendous advantage over Megan right now, okay? She's totally intimidated by you and your knowledge of who she is in her life and her past when she has nothing. You have a tremendous advantage. She's very dependent right now on you. I am her doctor. Hmm? And we just have to believe that she will find her way. I don't want to see her get lost. I know it's not my day, but I couldn't wait to tell you. That's all right. That's just fine. I'm a tutorial in Italy. You've yeah. got to be kidding. I haven't told David yet. Oh. I'm the first one that you've... Mm, well, you probably should. Mm? Yeah. No, no, no. The insurance must pay for that. Oh, I'm sorry, sir, but you have to talk to the adjuster. I already talked to the adjuster. Six times. I know. It's terrific. Italy, though, it's... Uh, You ready? You said to go forward. There you go, listening again. <laughs> Have you had lunch today? Is that... Is, I bet that's all you've had. No. Uh, no. I'm game for a sandwich if you are. Okay? Um, I have five more minutes of rounds. Do you want to come with me? You look great. Do I? Very healthy. Well, I feel full. <laughs> and uh, you were right. You're absolutely right. I'm glad you did that. Yeah. you got to well, take good care of yourself. I you're not eating enough for breakfast. I'm not exactly sure. And I think maybe... Your wife ready. forgot her purse. Oh, okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Ah, me. I forget everything. <laughs> my wife used to pride myself on that flashing bachelor neon sign on my forehead. Uh, why aren't you married? I looked for the perfect woman, and when I found her, she left me to go find the perfect man. South Italy. Oh, Are you ready? Well, my instincts say yes. And you said to follow them. Follow them. Yeah. Yeah. See where it takes you. Okay. Thanks for lunch. Bye-bye. Bye. David, what are you doing here? Um... Megan, listen. Look, uh, I'm trying to give you space, but I miss you. I have old memories, remember? I know all your sounds and where you smell and feel, and now there's nothing. The house is empty without you. So I, I was just thinking, I was thinking maybe, I know you don't remember anything, but maybe, you know, maybe we could start afresh, you know? Go out on a date. See what happens. I, I think we owe it to each other. And Lacey. I guess she's scared about all this. I think we're all afraid. He wants to go on a date. And do you want to? We have nothing in common. You have a daughter? He said that. You haven't been trying. Said that too. He came to see me. R when? Um, why? He was worried. He was worried about you living by yourself. I just wish he'd not be so protective. I wonder if he's always been like that. If we've always been like that. Mm. Have you told him about the program in Italy? No. I think maybe you should bring it up. Well, he's freaked out about me moving into an apartment. How do I explain Italy? And how do I... Tell him how excited I am about going to another country where I can do what I want to do and, and paint. Feel what I want to feel. Just tell him. Shoot from the hip. Tell him straight up. He's a good man. 
You'll understand. Must have been a cool suit a long time ago. <laughs> but I'm sure if you keep wearing it, I'll come right back into style. Oh, cheeks. Why are you looking blue? Just blue? Yeah. Okay, you look good for an old guy. <laughs> no, no, get me my wheelchair, please. Sweetheart, when you have it, you have it. Oh, I see. And I suppose you have it, Dad. I hope so. <laughs> well, where are you taking me? Our favorite place. Frank Seafood? Mm-hmm. That's kind of gross, Dad. From the mouth of a French fry junkie? You're not going to that tacky seafood joint again, are you? Oh, jeez. Romance dice. Hardness crowd. Come on. Woo-hoo. Hey, Nana. Do me a favor, please. Yeah? Don't wait up for me. If you know what I mean. Oh, I like a man with confidence. Even if he is optimistic. Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo. Got ya! What's the surprise? Frank's Seafood. Frank's Seafood? What's that? Well, it uh, used to be a special place for us. Really? Oh, well, if you really want to go there, but I hate seafood. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it's no big deal. I mean, let's go. I'm sure they have uh, salad or something. No, nah, it's okay. Forget Frank's. Really? Yeah, really. Uh, we'll go somewhere else. Someplace fishless. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> You're sweet. It's no big deal, really. There are a lot of places. I know a terrific place right on campus. Great. Hang out here with my friends. It's really cool. Megan. Hi. Girl, you look hot. <laughs> so do you. Uh, Rick, David. Rick's in my art class. Yeah. David's a friend. Nice to meet you, David. Yeah. Have fun. We're working on it. Friend? I haven't told them. It's it's complicated. We're getting to know each other, aren't we? True. I know it's confusing. That's an understatement. <laughs> well, but, I mean, <laughs> well, think how confusing it is to me. There are phones and purses and, and money popping out of machines 24 hours a day. It's, I don't know. It's a strange new world. Yeah. You know, I worry about Lacey. I wish I could feel that. I, I, I want to feel that. Megan? Hi. Oh, Jesse. Hi, David. Hi. Uh, nice to see you. A uh, good friend of mine, Gwen. This is David. Hi. And Megan. We're on our way out. Do you mind if we just join you for a second? Okay. Um, <clears throat> David, I, I wanted to ask you if you uh, had an opportunity to uh, see Megan's artwork. Yeah, it's great. Gwen should see it. It's, it's really something else. And, um, well, we feel the inner self is really blossoming now. And it's really encouraging. Oh, Italy. Have you heard any more about Italy? Italy? Uh, a program, a tutorial, a few months in Italy. Oh, I'm sorry. No. Megan, I, I thought you knew David. No, I didn't. I'm sorry. It's um, okay. My intention here was just to be helpful. 
First you tell her to move out, then you tell her to go to Italy. I mean... David. What's your story, man? I'm just trying to make her better. Yeah. I won't distribute you to anyone. Have a nice night. Yeah. I'm sorry, Jason. You don't use that kind of help. I'm gonna leave. How could you be so rude? I was rude. We didn't even invite them to sit down with us. Not that anybody would know it was an important night or that I was your husband. Oh, you don't understand. You're right, Megan. I don't understand. I really have no clue. I mean, why didn't you tell me about Italy? I mean, that's major. I've been discussing it with Jesse. I'm sure you have been. David, I... I've been doing the best I can to work this out, and you're not helping me, acting like a fourth grader. No, 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 I'm not the fourth grader, okay? I've got eyes. I could see he's after more than just your memory. Oh. Okay. Go on. Do whatever you want to do, Megan, okay? Go paint your fingers off in Italy. Blow off your responsibilities as mother and wife. I've already missed Paris once because I, I didn't have a choice, and I'm not going to make that mistake again. David, we'll never be able to go back. If you don't let me go forward. Thanks to come to work. to avoid the walls. I figured you for a driver. Yeah. Well, you give me a call if you're interested in picking up some work. Okay. All right. Mind my asking you a question? Yeah, shoot. Why are you getting rid of such a prize? Yeah. Once you're through with something, it's time to move on, right? Yeah, take it for a ride. Thanks. Now, my son's gonna love it. Great. noble and I think he must really care yes he's letting me go if I want just like that it's amazing isn't it Megan I mean when, when you really think about it he's he's risking losing you it's fabulous thing I'm, f I'm fine. Hi. On a picnic. 
But I forgot dessert, so I guess we'll have to think of something. Glenn, I'm sorry, you know, uh, this isn't really a good time. Yeah, it looks like it. What's bothering you, Jesse? What's up? It's... The woman the other night from the cafe, right? You're in love with her. I Man? saw it. I saw it. Come on, don't be ridiculous. She's a patient of mine. That's why you haven't said anything to her about it. She could look at me that way. That, which way is that? Like there's a bright light shining down on you that no one else can see. Listen, Jess, if, uh, if you're thinking of flying off somewhere to paint with her, be careful. She might just remember how much she loves her husband one day. Megan. Ma. You've done so much work. I love it. You do? Yes, I do. Is something wrong? Is it David or Lacey? Would it matter? Of course it would. What's wrong? Apart from my daughter messing up her life, everything is great. I'm doing my best to just go on. At least I'm not sitting in some closet somewhere crying. I'm trying, Mom. Are you? You know, Megan, I... It seems to me you're in, in just a great big hurry to go forward and in no hurry to look back. You know, I've watched David nurse you through sickness and protect you and take care of your child. He's been there for you for 20 years. That man is worth more than any art program in Italy. So, that's what this is about. Lobby Megan not to go to Italy. Well, Mom, nobody's making the decision for me. I'm making it for myself. Be mad at me because I didn't let you go to Paris 20 years ago. But be mad at me, not David, not Lacey. I don't want to be mad at myself for compromising my life again. Honey, <laughs> I hate to break this to you, but compromise is a big part of life. I threw away what I had when I walked out on your father. But you had good reason. Well, some of that was my fault. I wouldn't listen. I wouldn't forgive. I wouldn't talk to him. And when I moved in with you and David, I thought, oh, I'm going to have this whole new life. I'm going to be this free woman. But I was wrong. I was wrong because I couldn't run away from myself. Do you understand what I'm trying to tell you? Wherever you go, Megan, there you will be. Memories or not. Bad time for a new guy. So to cool down, we'll try it again. Good. You're really good, David. It doesn't surprise me. When you become a famous painter, maybe you could sponsor me. <laughs> Jerry said you sold a business. I didn't know you were having so many money problems. Yeah. Should have sold that place years ago. Everything's fine. Well, I wanted to thank you for the ticket. She said you sold your car. You didn't have to do that. Uh, car's a car. So, uh, when are you coming back? I think 
I'll be there a few months, and then if I'm lucky, there's a master class. Well, you're good. They'll see it. I don't know what to say, except... What a sweet man you are. <laughs> you're always calling me sweet. you've been to me. Be safe. I've got to hug you. Yes, I, I'm, I'm sure you are. Thank you very much for all your hard work. I'll have to uh, get back to you later, okay? Thank you. Bye-bye. Hello. What's, uh, what's... I thought you were packing. I remembered our wedding. I think that's what the picture was that I, I was painting all along. How does that make you feel? about it anymore. Try. Well, my mom and dad weren't happy about it. I can tell you that. David and I had gone to a bar to dance, and uh, he got in a fight with some guy who was trying to pick me up. So we got on his motorcycle, and we eloped. <laughs> Oh, boy. The night was so clear. The stars were bright. And uh, he gave me the night sky because he didn't have a wedding present. It's pretty original. Yeah, no, it is. So, we drove over the border and we got this old minister out of his garden. He was playing roses. And... Uh, we went into the church, and David said, you can't walk down the aisle without roses. So we stole some from the minister. And we got married. When I hugged him, something nice and, and comfortable came back. And everything seems straight. You come to a fork in the road and there are no signs. And you don't know whether to go right or left. I don't want to lose this chance again. I, I don't think you will, Megan. You're strong now. You'll make the right decision. Megan, today's the cutoff. Are you in? Do I put you on the list for Italy? Yes. Good. I'll send you a postcard. Well, yeah, that'd be great. If it's possible and everything. Of course, honey. So when are you coming back? Well, I don't know. You don't know? Um, okay. Take good care of yourself. Yeah, I will. You too. I just want you to know I love you. Okay. Um, bye, Mom. Bye, honey. Love you.
Send a postcard. She's not coming back, is she? still look like the product of a sick mind. Uh, but remember, it is our therapy that makes them better. I'll be honest with you, I'm starting to get used to them. Good. Well, don't get too used to them. As you know, the uh, wonderful administration here continues to put pressure on me. My uh, head is in a vice and they just keep turning. I may have to surrender my crayons. Don't get me started. Do not get me started. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I talked to the guy in the track, and, uh, consider it in advance. You're going to be working there the rest of your life. Megan, I just, I just want you to know that everything's okay with me, and that it's okay for you to go. I, I'd go with you myself if, if I had the money. That is, that is if you would have me. Man, I... well, Meg, please tell me anything but that I'm the sweetest. <laughs> but you are, and and so much more. Witty, handsome, yeah, talented, yeah. Uh -huh. good looking. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, you are. And you know what? What? I can't go. I'm not going. I'm not going. I've been sitting here going crazy, thinking, can I, can I get on that plane and, and walk away from you? When I had to say goodbye to Lace here, it broke my heart. Oh, 
I've never told no one Let's be lovers again Please find some time to spend Finally, I'm the father of the bride. That's right. <laughs> I thought that you'd be dunking your cannoli in an espresso by now. What's going on? I'm not going. He proposed again. Congratulations. What's all this? All this stuff? Well, I'm taking your advice. I'm moving on. I was just coming to tell you I'd like to continue my sessions. No, Megan, there's no more need for sessions. Wouldn't do you any good. I'm glad for you too, Jesse. Uh, your paintings are beautiful and... You know, I can paint anywhere, but here. Do you understand? You gave me back my life. You know something? You gave me back mine, too. So...
You know the groom can't see the bride the night before the wedding. You know, I, I keep trying to remember something. It's frustrating me. What? I don't know. I was... I was sick. I was in the hospital. But I think I was pregnant. I can't grab onto it. I don't know what it is. It's late. You have a wedding in the morning. Was I? Tell me, Mom. Was... What was it? You and David were on the way to the hospital. You were in labor. And the... There was a terrible accident. And the baby died. Douglas. So, um... DP is Douglas. Why didn't you tell me? And why didn't David tell me? We couldn't tell you. We were too afraid. I'm so sorry. Oh, Mom. She's not here yet. Where is she? Something's wrong, Lisa. I don't know what it is. Maybe Grandpa knows something. Okay. I don't envy him, though. The woman is so complicated. It takes you your whole life to figure out ins and outs, all our personalities. I've been married to you 15 years and I've only figured out three of them. You think you figured out three of them? If he doesn't, I'm sure she will. Oh, yeah, I know. I'm real lucky. <laughs> Where are you going? <laughs> you won't believe this. What? The guy who bought our pie. Yeah. He wants me to manage it for him. I'm not going nowhere. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you tell me? She was fine when she went back to bed. I thought you'd talk to her this morning. You should have told me last night. I'm sorry. It's just that she always blamed me. It was an accident. A terrible accident. Now you keep playing. I got an idea where she is. Come on, Harry. It's you and me together again. We've got to keep the show on the road. I mean, what if I start to remember all these things and it changes now? It changes. 
remembers us now, how I know you now. What if I remember more bad things? You wanted to remember. Yeah, I did. I did. So what do you want, Megan? You want an apology for the past? You want to guarantee that nothing will go bad in the future? I mean that I, I won't get mad and make another mistake? I can't do that, all right? I wish I could, but I... I wanted a boy more than anything in the whole world, man. I was going to play football with Douglas. I was going to take him to baseball games, eat too many hot dogs, advise him about girls, race cars. I'm afraid to make it. Some wedding reception. The only thing we don't have is a ride in a groom. Oh, loosen up, Harry. You actually look presentable today. Guess I'm never gonna walk down the aisle on this thing. Just gonna have to wait for you. <laughs> don't hold your breath, Grandpa. Going to art school in Europe. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly how I pictured our wedding day. Well, that's twice now. I guess we weren't meant to have one. Honey, 20 years ago I promised you all these things. For better, for worse, in sickness and health. For richer, for poorer. I mean, I, I stand by those promises I made that day, and I'm ready to make them again. Megan, I love you. I always loved you. Will you marry me? It's too late. What? We're already married, Dopey. <laughs> <laughs> Let's do it again. Really? I know a little place over the border. Rent a minister? Absolutely. Stolen flowers? Definitely. How are we going to get there? Got a little surprise for you. Such a sweet man. Oh, I'm sorry. No. You know what? You're right. I am a sweet man. And you're a sweet gal. <laughs> Is this the same bike we eloped on? Just a little older. What better? Just like us. I love this bike. I love this woman. <laughs> Woo!